Hello again everyone, Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks again and uh, wanted to wrap up this uh, 150th scale OTW upholder RC model. Uh, basically the entire thing is done and the only thing left to do is take her out for her maiden voyage. So that's what we're going to do here today. I'm going to show you how I get it uh, prepped and ready for the pond and then we're going to go and get it wet. Uh, thanks for joining me. Alright, so the hull is empty right now and what I need to do is install the watertight cylinder or dive module as it's sometimes referred to. Uh, in order to do that, uh, it's actually a pretty easy process for this model. There's a single uh, thumb screw in the rear that you can take off. Simply grab the sail here, tilt the whole upper hull upward, slide it forward. And we've got access uh, to the interior of the model. We've got some linkages in the back here. We've got rudder linkages. We've got dive plane linkages. And then in the front, forward dive plane linkages. So I'm going to grab the cylinder. An installation of the cylinder is a really simple process <coughs> as well. You kind of set it in, in place on the saddle uh, in the back area here. Get your prop shaft lined up. Slip it forward. And it's in place. The hold down for the cylinder is uh, composed of this little uh, saddle and that slips over the brass nuts at the front. Drops down in place and then this gets tightened down. We've got our main drive battery and this is a 12 volt 5 amp nickel metal hydride battery. This gets dropped into the cradle at the front, and I'm not going to connect the power quite yet. And then the last thing to do is to simply connect the linkages to the cylinder. It's basically ready to uh, go. The cylinder is locked down, uh, linkages are connected, battery is in place. Uh, and then when we are at the pond, simply to turn it on, you just plug it in. So, we're going to get things uh, prepped and ready. We'll head out to the pond out behind my house here. We'll throw it in the water and we'll see uh, how it does on this, its very first uh, maiden voyage. Okay, before I take the model out, just wanted to show you kind of the internal workings. Uh, now that everything is all set up. I got the main uh, drive battery in the front here. I got our forward linkages, got our cylinder with our digital readout of current draw, battery voltage, uh, central ballast tank, our rear engine compartment, uh, the receiver, got some servos, our main drive motor, um, outputs for rudder and dive planes. This is the uh, universal joint connection for the main uh, brass screw which is still absolutely gorgeous. So I'll just show you um, how this works a little bit. We got some rudder control here. We've got um, an automated pitch control system so you can see the rear planes moving as I tilt the model. Moving up to the front there we've got our front dive plane controls and ballast. Those are the four channels that we need. So we seem to be all ready to go. I'll button her up and bring it to the pond.
guys, so you saw the model performing uh, on and under the water. I have to say I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, models of this size I really love. I'm a big sub guy and there's a good reason they look really realistic uh, on and under the water. Um, this model held really good trim uh, the whole time. It was exceptionally easy to drive and the uh, turning radius was actually very, very good, particularly when you got that, uh, that upper rudder uh, underneath the surface of the water. So I'm exceptionally happy with how it turned out and uh, I hope you're impressed too. Well, there you have it, everyone. That uh, wraps up the build of this 150th scale OTW Upholder RC model submarine. I really thank you for joining me once again. I uh, hope you stay tuned for lots more videos, lots more build projects. Um, as always, if you have any questions uh, or comments, I would love to hear from you. You can email me anytime at bob at rc-sub.com. And I have a new website. Make sure you check it out, um, rc-submarine.com. Uh, it's going to see a lot more build projects. I've got a build blog, lots more resources, big picture galleries, and an online marketplace. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for joining me.